Welcome warrior. Welcome back to the story of my samurai and the way of the warrior. Are you ready? Let's continue. Eddie came to an abrupt stop outside the building entrance. He froze. Standing where he'd seen him the night before was the man in armor. He was much bigger than Eddie remembered, and he was directly in his path, only 20 feet away. Eddie's stomach churned. He looked away and forced himself forward. The thought of being late for work spurred him on. Nimbly with his head down under his cap, he darted around the warrior and up onto the broken sidewalk. It was a short, straight walk to the town center and the transporter depot. It was a walk he made every day. Eddie steadied himself with a deep breath and propelled himself forward. He knew he wasn't fit, but he was confident he could outrun the heavily armored man if he needed to. He didn't think he'd try anything. Not in daylight with people around. Not unless he really was crazy. His final thoughts spurred Eddie to walk faster sweating and breathing hard in the early morning heat he turned his music device off a rattling sound filled the air cautiously looking back over his shoulder eddie spotted the warrior keeping pace with him his armor and swords clattered as he strode along eddie knew he needed to move faster if he wanted to lose him in the crowd he pushed himself harder eddie could feel himself sweating heavily and knew he needed to hydrate. He swore and glanced back. His water. Ration. It was still in the cooler at home. No sign of the warrior. One of the town's street traders was setting up ahead. Eddie called as he approached. Give me a ration. Hurry! The man's wide hat covered his face, and his croaky voice was hard to hear. Eddie leaned down to speak with the crouching figure. What? Two credits. Eddie flashed his ID and snatched at the thin bag. I work for Voro Corporation. Give it to me, quickly. The ragged man held tightly to the plastic as Eddie pulled harder. Falling forward he cursed quietly, releasing his tired fingers. Eddie glanced back along the street, sucking nervously at the water as he walked away. Join us again for episode 6. Coming soon.